hey loves you're welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a mermaid skate this mermaid skate i made it with three yards of ankara fabric and if you know ankara fabric you'll know that ankara fabric is um, by 45 inches of length so yeah stay tuned and enjoy this beautiful tutorial Okay, so I'm going to be folding my fabric like so. Um, I'm going to be making the front part of the skirt first before making the second part. So look at the way I'm folding my fabric. I'm just going to fold into two. I'm not going to be folding the front on bias. I'm just going to fold it this way like I'm making a straight skirt. So I'm using the top as my waistline. I'm going to come down by nine inches. For my hip line but i added half inch to it because of the joining allowance i made it nine and a half and then i'm going to come down again to 18 inches for my knee length but i'm also using 18 and a half because of the half inch allowance that will go off at the top now i'm going to be extending these lines remember the top is my waistline the second line which is this one is my hip line while the other one is my knee length now I measured what I folded and I found out that I had SS. I wanted to fold into about 16 inches. So now I'm going to reduce it so that it will be around 16 inches. I do not want the front to be too flayed. That's the reason why I'm just going to be using about 16 inches for it. And also remember I'm a size 8. So my waist, I'm going to be um, imputing my measurements. My waist is 7 inches plus, plus 2 inches allowance. My hip is 10 inches plus 2 inches allowance, which is 12 inches. And then at the knee length, I'm going to be removing 1.5 inches from the, waist from the hip measurement, which is 12 inches minus 1.5, which is 10.5. So I'm going to go ahead and impute my 10.5 at the knee measurement. So now I am going to connect it. I tried using freehand, but I'm actually not a freehand person. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my hip stick and I'm going to connect my, my lines. So now this is what we have. The next thing we're going to do is to get um, a stretch ruler and then we're going to draw a slanted line all the way to the tip of um, our folded material. Just shall look at what I'm doing and then just follow this way. You're just going to get a straight line and then roll it out. Now get your tape and measure what you have here. And then you're going to come to the slanted line and also measure then impute exactly what you have there at the slanted line and yeah just look at it when you impute it this way you're going to go ahead and curve into yes into it and then the other pieces will be going off now it's time for us to cut make sure that you're smoothing your lines your edges so that you won't be having any point to your sharp edge so this is it for the front of the fabric and now it is time for us to cut the back this is the way i folded my back i folded the back in bias form as you can see this is the remaining of what i have from three yards of fabric now i folded this and the slim part is going to be for the waist while the full part is going to be for the bottom and the tail of my skirt so just look at how i'm going to be placing this i'm going to make sure that the side seam is going to be touching the the other end of um my folded fabric for the back just look at the way i'm arranging it i'm doing this so that i will have spacing at the place that i i laid on fold for the back now while you're placing remember to leave out about one inch at the waistline for your zipper allowance and then subsequently you're going to be having others now i've gone ahead to mark out my lines but for the back knee length i'm not going to be using 18 i'll be using 16 inches 
this is because i want my tail to start from under my bum bum and not lower i used one inch for my waist zip allowance i used one and a half for the hip and at the hip line i'm going to measure one inch remember the the, um, the hip has a bum bum that is the reason why i'm making it have a little bit of a curve so that my bum bum will sit properly so when you get this um okay my chalk wasn't very visible so i went to get this cool chalk and i'm going to be redoing what i did first now these are the three lines the waist hip and the knee then one inch allowance for my waist 1.5 for the hip and one inch for the knee length so now i'm going to curve the lines connect the lines it's going to be in a curvy way now the next thing we're going to do in at the bottom part is we're going to measure what we have if you want your tail to be long you can go ahead and use everything that you have what i have here is about 18 inches but you can go as low as 10 inches or something depending on how your client wants it to be now you're going to go ahead and curve out this way yeah so this is how you get your tail this is how long your tail is going to be Mine is going to be as long as 18 inches. Now, the next thing I want to do is to join this line to the other extreme. This is a cut together tail. Remember that you can also do a detachable um, tail or like a separate tail that is not cut together. But this tutorial is for a cut together tail. There are various methods to making a mermaid dress, but this is what I've decided to show you. Now, now that we are done, this is what we have. And then the next thing we're going to do is to cut it. This, remember, I'm making this skirt with three yards of fabric. You can also make an Ankara, um, a mermaid skirt with six yards of fabric. Yes, I've done it before. If you want to have, um, if you want it to be so full and so flowy, like, you know, all these um mermaid skirts that you see on designers um pages on the internet and all that yes yeah. so you can make a mermaid skirt for as much as six yards of fabric okay so now i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and yeah this is how beautiful my skirt looks like now the next thing we're going to do is to line it you can do a full lining for this but for the sake of this tutorial i won't be doing a full lining i'll just be doing a short lining for it and mind you i am making a gown a dress and not a skirt but i'm still going to show you guys the process of making it as a skirt okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut out 18 inches of length 18 inches lining which is what i'll be using um yeah which is the length i'll be needing for the lining i'm going to go ahead and cut it off and remove the excess I'll be keeping this because I do not like to waste fabric. I'll be using it when it's time for me to make the blouse of, of this dress. Okay, so now this is my 18 inches length lining. I'm going to be cutting the back first. So I'm going to go ahead and get my back pattern and I'm going to lay it down on the lining from the beginning to the end and i'm going to go ahead and trace out my lines if you've watched up to this point and you're yet to subscribe i do not know what you're waiting for do hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up turn on your post notification bell too so that whenever i post new videos you'll be notified okay so the next one we're going to cut is the front now for the sake of the front i'm going to get my iron and flatten it out so that i'll be having the exact same measurement i have on the main fabric for the lining i'm going to be using my iron to flatten it out yeah and then i'm going to place my lining my main fabric on the lining and then i'm going to trace it out 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now onto the sewing part, this is how we are going to do this. We're not going to be attaching the lining on the fabric. I'm just going to, I'm going to sew it separately. I'll go ahead and place the lining and join the sides. Join the sides. Now after joining the sides, I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the main fabric. I'll go ahead and place um, the fabrics how they're supposed to be. And I'll go ahead and join um, the sides. remember we took out two inches allowance so you're going to go ahead but when you get to the knee length no need taking two inches from the down part just go ahead and use half inch to join the flay part okay so this is it i've i've sewn this and i also closed the zipper area but i left um a little opening at the front at the top about 10 inches for me to add my zipper and this is also the lining i've gone ahead to sew the lining too now the next thing we are going to do is to add our zipper and then use our lining to turn um, the skirt. Okay, at this point I've added my zipper. The next thing you will do is to cut off the zipper excess and then you're going to place your lining on your main fabric right side facing each other. And then you're going to begin to join from the zipper area all the way to the top around to the other part of the zipper area again. Now when you're joining this, you're going to sew some inches some um just you're going to give a little space from the first line which is the line that is holding your zipper to the fabric you're going to sew a little bit away from it and then you're going to begin to join you'll join from the zipper allowance all the way to the top and to the other side of the zipper allowance before you now hold your lining and then close your lining before you now turn it out but this is a dress which is why i'm not going to be completing it as a skirt in this video 